Saturday morning. Oh, I hope you got some coffee going, bacon sizzling, eggs frying, pancakes, French toast. <laughs> Love your family. Treat them with wonderful memories. Don't beat yourself up over what you did wrong. You can't change yesterday. Focus on today. Who do you want to be today? You'll never change yesterday. And everybody remembers yesterday different. Remember, play a little game with yourself. What did I do right? What did I do wrong? Cherish today. Enjoy the sunshine. Enjoy the beauty. Enjoy the air. Enjoy your family. Enjoy your friends. I see in so many areas Satan murdering friendships, marriages. Just, you know, all around destroying because he is as a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour you can't just destroy anybody you guys and Jesus made it so simple he told you you know your word it's going to equal a seed when you speak it it's going to equal the ground a man knows what kind of seed he puts in the ground and he knows it's going to grow, and he's not surprised at what grows. So, you have these words that are really seed. And you've got Jack and the Beanstalks growing all over the place, and you're wondering why. And you still keep speaking the same Jack and the Beanstalk problem, and you're growing more Jack and the Beanstalk. And here come the giants. <laughs> So, what we have to do is speak right. Believe your words. Believe it. It is a seed. Believe it's going to grow. Chop it down. Chop it down now with new words. What do you want? Speak your future. Ask Jesus to come into your heart. Know that you win. Know that you're blessed. You're not trying to be blessed by your behavior. Not that you want bad behavior. God gives you perimeters of what you can and cannot do. And don't expect things to turn out peachy keen if you go beyond God's parameter. And if you don't bother to see what his parameters are, well, you're just a blind man stepping on Legos screaming in the dark. Wake up. So, I see a lot of uh, activity regarding uh, Zana and Ethan eating at the food truck, being at the food truck. It's it's all on Zana's phone. They know that, right? You got to look at what they say and what they don't say. It's all on her phone. They, they know it can be proved. I don't believe any of the parents. Sorry for choices and how it worked out. I mean, any parent can relate to that. But anyway, you know, people can't change yesterday. Zana, Ethan, yeah, they were at the food truck. Same time they got there right after uh, Maddie and Kaylee got there. Um, and within minutes of uh, Zana leaving, you know, with Ethan and her little group that she was with, um, you saw the other kids all on their phone watching something and, you know, very, um, 
into what they were watching. They were all, you know, and they were screaming, go Zana, go Zana. So it's all there. It's, I'm not making it up. Now the food truck, we all know that they can completely access what purchase was made and when and what bank account. We, we all know this. So keep bringing that bloody sock and, uh, Oh, I just didn't want it to go dark. I really didn't. I wanted it to stay upbeat and hit cats and kittens and everybody have a great day. And, and you know, but uh, we're going to be doing more. Unfortunately, oh, 